Hi right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video and in this video we're going to be discussing the new legendary vending machines in Fortnite bot ba Battle Royale Battle Royale and I'm going to be telling you all the locations for these vending machines so if you happen to stumble across one then you can fucking sort yourself out with some fucking legendary weapons so without further ado, let's jump into the video just before this video begins, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing a £10 Amazon gift card giveaway. If you'd like to be a part of that, all you have to do is subscribe, like the video, comment something down below that you enjoyed and something that I can improve on, and just stay active and be a nice subscriber. Without further ado, let's actually like jump into the video now. So, the legendary vending machines in Fortnite Battle Royale. Yesterday, there was an update that came out that added these into the game, and they're pretty cool. If you don't know how they work, pretty much what you do is you donate the vending machine. So it's sort of like how a vending machine would normally work in real life. You give it something and then it gives you something back. So in real world terms, you give it a pound and it will give you a drink maybe. If it's that cheap. Or if in Fortnite you give it 500 wood, it might give you a scar for example. So that's sort of a rundown of how it works. Now I'm going to tell you where you can find them and what other cool stuff they do. Hi ladies and gentlemen, so first things first, these vending machines sort of work like chests. In the way that you always know that a chest's going to spawn in that location, but it might not spawn there for that specific game. A good way to explain this is in Tilted Towers for example, assuming you know where a chest spawns, but it hasn't spawned there that match, but it might spawn there other matches. That's all how the vending machines work. So they'll always have the same location, but they might not always spawn in the game. Now, these vending machines also give out lots of cool shit. So, for example, you could find a vending machine that has a common. Uh, you could find a vending machine that has epic or legendary or rare, whatever. It really all depends on pot luck, sort of like chests work. You open it, you can get something really good, you could get something really bad. Sort of like these, you could get a fucking legendary vending machine, but you could also get just a common vending machine. Now, these all ask you for different materials. So, for example, if it's just a common, it could be any anything from just a normal M16 to something else that's common, say, for example, bandages. But, yeah, again... If you find a legendary one, it could have a legendary scar or it could have something else that's legendary in it. For example, maybe a chug jug. I don't know if that's legendary or not, but there is, you know, you know what I mean? You get the gist of it. So depending on the color is depending what you get. So if you get gold things, you could get a gold scar, gold chug jug, for example. If you get purple things, you could get a purple scar, maybe a lord pad, for example. They're just some examples. These will cost materials, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to not give you scars for fucking free. These are, like, prices, they aren't too bad, to be fair. You know what I mean, you're going to have to stock up a little bit. For common, it's just going to be 100, which is nothing too major. But if you have a legendary weapon, it will cost you 500 material. Now, that could be 500 wood, 500 iron, or 500 brick. If it's 500 iron, it is a bitch. Like, I got a fucking... My mate got a scar yesterday and wanted... It wanted, like, fucking 500 iron. Absolute bitch to get. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is not it. No, it is not. So, if you hit the check, the vending machine, you can change it quicker. So, for example, yesterday I was standing there like a potato waiting for it to change. But if you hit it with your pickaxe, for example, then it will change instantly. I only figured that out yesterday. Uh, I just thought it would be a quick tip to throw in there for you guys. But I want to know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. So we've been over what it does, the prices and shit. But do you think it is a good idea that they've done this? Do you think that it adds, you know, some... I don't know. What does it add, ladies and gentlemen? Let me know in the comment section below what you think it fucking adds. Because... I wouldn't say it adds skill, but it adds a sort of, you know, the, I don't know what it adds. I fucking don't know, ladies and gentlemen. It adds something, but I just don't fucking know what. But let me know, ladies and gentlemen, in the comment section below. Are you 
ever gonna, you know, try and just grind for these materials, or are you just gonna, are you just gonna play it by ear, are you gonna just fucking hope that you get a scar out of a chest, or are you gonna actually collect materials specifically for the fact that you could get a gold scar, for example, let me know down in the comment section below, also, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you like this update, obviously, we got the new fucking fat mode with all the rocket launchers, that is a lot of fun, but it is also makes the game laggy as fuck, obviously, with all the explosions, if you all land at tilted towers, for example, it just creates a shitload of lag, which is obviously, it isn't the best thing, because, I mean, lag in this game is specifically has been a bit of an issue. Everyone jumping at Tilted Towers when they did that, you know, 20 versus 20 versus 20 mode. That was a lot of lag just on its own. But even despite not having the 20, 20 versus 20 mode, there is still a lot of lag because you've obviously got all the explosions going on, which is obviously more than usual. But that is a really fun game mode, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that game mode. Also, let me know what you think about the vending machines that have been added to Fortnite. I personally quite like the idea. I mean, it doesn't really add anything, but it's just a nice idea to bring to the game. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about the whole thing. Like I said, if you want to be entered in the giveaway, all you have to do is like, subscribe, stay active, and then just comment down below in the comment section. But this is Lukey. And I'm signing out, and I hope you all enjoyed. Peace.